Okay, let's get this going. I want you to understand how actually easy it can be to create good, interesting, engaging content, video content especially, daily. This is a matter of consistency. You got to show up and you have to learn how to do this. There are so many people who are going to tell you that like writing is the key. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to look any further than yourself and your family to know that they and you consume more video than you do writing. You do. Daily. By a lot. Cool. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's move forward into the three basic pillars of consistent creative content. <coughs> Video content. One, you have to say the ugly stuff. You have to say the ugly truth. Just like I just said. It's not about words, although a lot of, a lot of writers... A lot of writers are going to try to convince you it's about the words. They're wrong. I'm not saying words aren't important. Of course they are. And my choice of words here is important. But all of your text-based stuff? Yep. It is not viewed as much as... <laughs> what is Facebook user? What is a pen and paper? Very funny. It is not viewed and listened to and paid attention to as much as all of the video. People like Alex Hormozzi, Grant Cardone, all those people who are gaining lots and lots of traction, you watch their videos. You do. So, everybody, everybody wants to be thought of as valuable and the people who love writing actually usually suck at video it's not their fault it's that they haven't learned how to articulate with video so they focus on what they do know and they do get and they do feel like they can understand and do well writing and they are going to then tell you that writing is more valuable i'm not blasting writing i'm saying the rule number one say the ugly truth whatever ugly truth you have in your own field say that ugly truth okay good You have all sorts of mommy issues, daddy issues, inner self-critic issues, and you have to get out of your own way. And I'm not a shrink, and I'm not about to be a shrink, and I'm not your therapist, and I'm not your mommy. But I do know this. <laughs> How do you get monkeys to watch your video? I'm going out on a limb here. I'm going to guess that this is Bob. Bob, the monkeys, uh, the monkeys as a band... They no longer exist. They broke up. And not only that, but unfortunately, Peter Nesmith died a few years ago. Uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but um, Peter Nesmith became a musician. And early in his life, his mom invented Whiteout. Yes, he came from a family where his creative entrepreneurial mother suddenly became a rich person and he went into music that may not be the reason he went into music but that might be part of the compelling ability for someone to choose to go into music anyway i'm going to get back to my stuff here when you speak oh you knew debbie dones yeah that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Back to rule number one. You're, you're, 
issues that you need to get out of your own way. The fact is that saying stuff just rambling forth, that won't cut it. Just saying things in a mean-spirited way, that also won't cut it. Just saying things for the sake of saying things, that also won't cut it. However, exploring ways to say what you truly mean and not sugarcoating it, trying to make people like it, that's the problem most people have here. That's the problem most people have. They feel concerned. And actually, the people who are saying the stuff that's polarizing, those are the people who are going to truly change things for themselves and others. Look around you. Generic, normalized crap doesn't do it. Okay, good. So let's dispense with pillar number one. Pillar number two, there's stuff out there all over that you can use as fuel and you should allow all of other people's stupid stuff <laughs> that uh, doesn't really ring true to you. You should allow that to feed your own interest in what you actually want to say because all of the things that don't make sense to you are a way for you to key in to what you truly want to do. When you don't understand what it is that you really want to push against, you're not going to be able to actually explain what you stand for in the expression of, well, an expression I like, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Let's take a look at it as at, at one example. Someone's going to make some kind of post about, um, I don't know, It's perfectly fine to, you know, get rich really fast and uh, take photo selfies of youthful pursed lips and, you know, skin and riches. And you can take a look at that stuff and you can appreciate that. But you can also take a look at that stuff and say, most of that stuff is photoshopped, most of that stuff is rented, most of that stuff is like misappropriated, and most of that stuff is just totally full of crap. Well, if you see that and you have an opinion, you don't have to say that stuff's full of crap. You can take a look and say, what do I really dislike about that? And what do I actually believe is of more value? If people are talking about gaining a big following, what's the difference? Maybe the difference is that you feel that a following doesn't need to be big. It just needs to be quality. Something I agree with. What if you take a look and say, that youthful stuff is actually bullshit even for the youth because it feeds a sense of a bad self-image for a lot of people who don't see themselves being there. Okay, so what do you stand for? I stand for equality, and I stand for something that is a little more humanistic, a little more normalized, more universal. Okay, good. So you have that. There you go. That's the way you fuel. Right. Hey, did you? It's happening. Um, so we take a look at these things and we say all of the stuff out there daily, daily, we can push against. And when we understand how we can see that stuff and allow it to fuel our own content, we have an ability to use the stuff out there to generate our own stuff daily. Okay, three. Have fun. This should be fun. This should be a pleasure. 
Now, I'm not saying it's easy to do what I do. What I do and the way I do it here is actually the result of an enormous amount of self-reflection, investigation, practice, teaching, teaching others, teaching myself. You know, there's an enormous amount here. But that shouldn't stop you from starting to enjoy it. You want to enjoy it. And for the same reason that you can look at what I'm doing and say, that looks fun. He looks like he's passionate. He's enjoying himself. He believes in what he's saying. He's doing what he wants to. I'm telling you, yeah, that's available. The difference is that I teach people how to do this. I can teach you how to do this well. Does it cost some money? Yeah. Is it a life lesson that you take forth, forward into everything else that you do in your life and use as an example for your family, your friends, your potential future clients? Yeah. So when I take a look at this stuff, I think of it as you know, I can put a number on it, but the fact is, liberated self-expression is priceless. Priceless. So, you can either try to do it on your own, or you can learn from someone who invested decades of experience and training, and I've literally shed blood, sweat, and tears learning how to do this, so that I can shave weeks, months, and years off of your learning curve. I'm happy to do that. Yet, this is not me pitching my stuff. I'm explaining to you how you get to a place where you can enjoy it. I hope this looks like I'm enjoying it, does it? Does it look like I'm enjoying it? <laughs> it should, because it does, and I am. Number one. You want to make sure that you say the ugly truths. Number two, you want to allow all of the stupid shit out there on a daily basis to fuel and feed your ability to push against that so you can make content from it. And number three, you should gradually get good at articulating your own way of enjoying this so it's fun. When you do those, you automatically improve. Does this make sense? I want to hear from you. If you're ready for the next level up, I want to get on a call with you. Because I want the action takers. Now, I have some new, relatively inexpensive ways of gaining access to my training. And you will find out about those if you book a call. So I'm going to leave my link in the comments. And of course you have my link for these. <coughs> and yeah, Aditya, self-satisfaction is important. Aditya, man. You ready to do some of this shit? Large, fast. I will get you up and running with this by the end of the summer. I live in the Northern Hemisphere, so the end of the summer for me is coming up soon. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. We could do something. Like, you can choose. This is all up to you. Anyway. Speak soon. Look forward to hearing from you. Go get him.